Hi, so for drill number 12, I'm going to be focusing on the question, what kind of idea of religion do you see operative in this article? How does this type of music blur the, defini uh, the definition of religion, and do I agree? Um, so reading through the article, I didn't know um, what definition of religion I wouldn't really fit it with. Um, I thought maybe um, religion as belonging or a religion as a transcendent experience, but really it, um, I, I think it all comes down to how you view religion within yourself. Um, uh, you know, like the whole point of um, the hardcore Christians um, they're part, it says in the conclusion of the article, um, they're part of a larger trend in the U.S. Uh, in which young people are increasingly wary of associating with organized religion and instead see themselves as having more authority over how to create a spiritual experience that feels right to them. And I think that is so wonderful because um, there, I think there are a lot of people who don't necessarily like the like the hardcore Christians who they don't fit in with the whole Sunday Sunday church. Um what do they call them? Sunday Christians? I don't know. But um instead maybe, you know, they believe in God but they are not the evangelical Christians that you see dressing up every Sunday and going to church or whatever. And so um this type of religion uh that I see in the article is just finding what where you fit in into the religion. Um, so maybe religion as belonging, religion religion's true purpose is not intellectual but social. The care of social sentiments, providing symbols and rituals that enable people to express the deep emotions that anchor them to their community, um, the soul of society. And I think that's probably pretty accurate. Um, and then maybe instead of like community. It's how religion anchors them to themselves. I'm not sure. But um, anyways, so the next question, how does this type of music kind of blur the definition of religion? Um, I think there are probably several points that I can make, but I'm going to look at page 67 and page 70. Um, what are some specific quotes I'll read? Um, mainly, the, the, the article talked about how hardcore Christians um, kind of deviate from the mainstream. Uh, and so here it says, Harvard Christians insist that they are not part of the mainstream because one, their approach to church does not look or sound like Sunday Christians, and two, they are church in spaces and forms that may Sunday Christians dismiss as anti-Christian. Um, and I think, you know, that's it. What I mean, anti-Christian, if you are... I think if you believe in um, God and like if you believe in Jesus Christ and you follow the teachings of Jesus Christ, you know, like how can you be anti-Christian? You know, the, the hardcore Christians don't really do anything different than Sunday Christians except that their music sounds different and they look different. You know, so how are they to say that they are anti-Christian when in reality they speak about as much truth as Sunday Christians do, if not more so, in my opinion. Um, anyway, so one of the complaints of um, hardcore Christians is that the mainstream is, um, it relies on church culture instead of Jesus to teach its youth right from wrong. And I think that's kind of interesting because from what I read from the Bible, I agree with Jesus. You know, he was like, he was a cool, his, his ideas about how to treat others and how to, how society should be, you know, caring for one another, like, I think that's what we should be, that's what should be taught to, you know, young children who are going to church or whatever. Anyways, the second quote I wanted to mention was on page 70. Um, this is what I was kind of talking about when I meant the religion within themselves, if that makes sense. So here I go. 
um, hardcore Christians legitimate their church by collectively claiming that their church is a ministry that God personally calls them to be, a calling that they exercise by playing hardcore music, physically presenting themselves as social nonconformists, and befriending non-Christians at live music shows. The Christian calling they invoke is to defend their method of church is an age-old Protestant concept that each individual has a God-appointed task that he or she must fulfill in everyday life. And again, I think that's so wonderful. I think that's exactly what, I mean, like, to me, that's exactly how religion should be, right? I think people have their own opinions about it, how they express themselves through that religion and what that religion means to them, just because, you know, these hardcore Christians aren't um, dress, dressing up every day in their Sunday best and going to church in the mornings and listening to them. I don't know, sermons. I don't know, I don't go to church. Um, sermons, is that what they're called? And like, um, the pa- pastor. That doesn't mean that they're not religious. They, you know, sing religious songs that, I mean, they sound very different from what you would hear in church like the um, song we're supposed to listen to for today, Impending Doom, right? Yeah, Impending Doom, Um, Silence the Oppressors. Like, that is not something you would hear in church. But I think that's what's so cool about it is it's still religious because it's, like, I think that the quote, it's the Christian calling that they have a God-appointed task that he, she must fulfill in everyday life. Um, God personally calling them to be, they're just being themselves They're, and that's how they want to express their, I mean, their religious ideas and their, I don't know, I just think it's cool. Um, so do I agree is the question. Um, do I agree that it blurs the definition of religion? I think, yeah because I think there is this idea of religion or that some rounds of religion that it has to be something very clear, very strict, but I think religion is much more fluid than that. Um, I think there's a bunch of, like I said earlier, like you don't have to be, you can be a hardcore Christian and still be Christian. You know, like for me, I don't go to church every Sunday. I go to back to church, you know, a few other times on the holidays. Um I'm not, I don't consider myself a religious person at all and I've said that before. But I do I do believe that there, you know, there's a God, there's somebody out there and I um something bigger than me out there. But I'm getting kind of away from the point. But yeah, I think I do agree that if there's a lot of the lines of religion, but that doesn't make it any less religious.